Thank you very much, John. Um, and so greetings from South Sydney Uniting Church, where I am a member. Uh, very good to be here with you tonight. And I'm also a part of the Youth, Youth Climate Actions Task Group of the Synod as well, with a number of others um, who are here tonight. So a little bit about the National Day of Action Fund Our Future Not Gas on September 25. It's around about a year since the first very large um, strikes that took place across the country and across the world. There was action previous to that, but you may remember a huge turnout for those for those strikes. That's not something that we can do at the moment because of COVID, um, but we can mobilise in other ways. Uh, the timing of this is also uh, two weeks before the federal budget is handed down. And we've heard from SIA about how um, all pointers are towards uh, what's being called a gas-led recovery, but we know that it fails on all counts. It fails in terms of job creation and it fails in terms of climate. Um, so September 25 Fund Our Future Not Gas Action is organised by the School Strike for Climate and Seed Indigenous uh, Youth Climate Network and others as well, Australian Youth Climate Co Coalition, supported by um, unions representing over a million members. Uh, and its, its purpose is to call upon our federal government to fund a post-COVID future based on clean jobs, care for country, climate and community, not lining the pockets of the gas and fossil fuel industry. So as of yesterday morning, there were around 200 actions across the country um, that had been registered, uh, so no, no doubt that's increasing by the hour. So Dee, could you go to the next slide, please? So this day, Fund Our Future Not Gas, um, calls upon the government that post-COVID investment should not be spent on gas and other damaging fossil fuel projects. Instead, it should invest in supporting First Nations people-led solutions that guarantee land rights and, and care to country. So SEED, Indigenous Youth Climate Network, um, very much involved, involved in organising this, this action. Um, also, uh, we should be investing in jobs that fast track climate solutions and revive communities and transitioning our nation to 100% renewables by 2030. So um, saying both no to what we don't want and yes to what we do want and, and standing up as passionate people um, who uh, want to respond to what would be a terrible solution uh, and also an anti-democratic solution to the COVID crisis. So I'd like to now hand over to Raul, who's going to tell us about how we can get involved in this day um, through various sorts of actions. So over to you, Raul. Yeah, thank you, Miriam. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Raul Suganathan. I worship at Leichhardt Uniting Church, and I'm also the Vice President of Christian Students Uniting at the University of Sydney. Um, and yeah, today I'll just be talking to you about how you can get involved in this upcoming action. Um, so basically there are two, two main ways to get involved. There's a physical action you can be part of where you show up in person. Um, and then there's a photo action which can be done completely online, completely digitally. Um, uh, so you don't have to do anything in person. Both, um, yeah, both are great ways to get involved. So firstly, for the physical action, um, can we get the next bit? Yeah, cool. Um, so normally school strike for climate likes to organize these really big protests with hundreds of thousands of people around the country, um, which Miriam touched on. But obviously because of COVID, we can no longer do that because it's no longer safe. So instead, School Strike for Climate are calling on people to organize their own protests of 10 to 20 people. Um, and these will be all separate around the country. Um, and, and together they'll combine for a lot of people, but they'll be safe because they're in small groups. So you can first, um, uh, get involved in this way by joining an existing one. Um, I'm going to put in the chat right now a link to a website where you can find, um, you can put in your postcode and you can find some local ones if you'd like to join someone else's. Um, and the other option is that you can organize your own one, which is a great opportunity for congregations and, and different church groups. Um, so how do you do this? First, you need to check if it's right for your congregation or your group, um, just because uh, it, um, of COVID safety. Um, I know for my church, I'm organizing one for Leichhardt Uniting, and we have to organize a COVID safe plan and run it past the council. So make sure you go through those protocols um, just to make sure it's, it's safe. Um, but then uh, if it is, um, it's a really great opportunity because as a church, it's a really uh, important for us to show up to these just to prove the diversity of the, of the protest. Um, and that we have, the church has a really important role to play in these sorts of protests. 
um, because of our, uh, the, our motivation, it's because our faith um, tells us to care for the environment. So um, if you want to organize your own one, find 10 to 20 people um, who might be interested. Um, you can find these people if they have perhaps expressed interest or expressed that they care about the environment or maybe it just seems like they might care um, and in that case just start a conversation with them and, and hopefully you can find some interest. Um, then communicate a time with these 10 to 20 people um, on uh, for the day, September 25, and a place to do it. And then what's really great is to have a banner. So in the photo here you can see lots of people with a banner that says fund our future not gas, which is the slogan of the protest. Um, another cool option is if you're a part of a congregation um, and you can change the signboard, you can also write Fund Our Future Not Gas in the signboard. Um, and um, yeah, that's a really powerful way to show that the church is getting involved. Um, then what's really important is to take a few photos and videos um, and post them on social media. More on that later as it's relevant to both ways you can get involved. Cool. So the second way you can get involved um, is a photo action. Um, so basically, um, this is something you can do online at home. And all you have to do is make a banner. Um, you can make a big banner, or you can make uh, get lots of people to make small banners and host a Zoom call like this one, um, and get everyone to log into the Zoom call, show their banner like this, and take a screenshot. Um, or if you're at home with your big banner, you can take a photo. You can get a couple of people to hold the banner. Um, either way, you just make a sign that says "Find that future not gas" and take a photo. Um, then you need to post that on social media. So this is relevant for both actions. If you do a, a physical one, take some videos and some um, photos. If you do a photo one, obviously you can have a photo. And to join the movement, because we can't do it in person, you need to post it on social media. Um, so it, it, it joins this whole big um, collection of other posts. So um, here I've got an example for me. Um, uh, the best way, the best type of page you can do it on is a public page, 